All right, so today we're here in New Mexico at the Capulin Volcano. Uh, we are at the visitor center right now, just waiting on our turn to be called. Uh, they have very limited space up there as far as for parking, for uh, driving all the way to the top. And so uh, we have to wait and get a text uh, after you pay your $20 fee uh, to go up. And so we're just waiting right now on our uh, turn to go up. And so we'll check it out. The Capulin Volcano is located in northeast New Mexico, just west of both the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. The road going to the top kind of spirals around the volcano until you reach the parking lot. There are two trail options once you reach the parking lot. You can hike down to the center of the volcano, like what we're going to do for our video today, or you can take the one mile rim trail, which will have about a 300 feet elevation gain and also take about 45 minutes to complete. As you come up to the visitor center at the base of the volcano, you'll notice a huge lava rock sitting out there for display. Inside the gift shop is where you pay your $20 fee to go up to the top of the volcano. You'll have bathrooms, a gift shop, and all kinds of information about the area. Man, check out the size of these telescopes. These things are huge. The Capulin Volcano National Monument is a designated dark sky park. It's one of the best areas in the whole country for nighttime viewing of stars. Over about the next 30 seconds, I want to show you some of the information that they have hanging up on the walls. If this is of interest to you, you can feel free to hit the pause button and read through all these. If not, you can feel free to skip through this time to get to the next segment. Here are some common animal signs, rock formations, and even some petrified wood that you can find common here in this area. So they even have a little theater section here with a lot of information about the park. So, pretty cool. It's a volcanic lava bomb. After about a 20 to 30 minute wait, we finally got a text saying it was our turn to come up to the parking lot. You gain about a thousand feet in elevation from the visitor center up to the parking lot. Landscape is pretty sparse, very small trees. They're doing some construction about three quarters of the way up, and because of that they're down to one lane and no RVs are allowed up to the top of the volcano. It actually takes longer to get up there than what you might think. When you're down by the visitor center, the volcano really doesn't look very high. But as you start to make your way up, you can really notice the 1,000 foot elevation gain. Especially when you come across a section of the road that has a lot of little curves in it, and there's no guardrail to your side. There are several small little switchbacks on the way up. All right, we've made it to the top of the Capulin Volcano here in New Mexico. Let's go check it out. So it seems a whole lot higher from up here than what it does when you're down there at that visitor center. Trails and safety. That's a biggie right there, no collecting. Due to time constraints and more travel we had to do later on the day, we decided not to do the rim trail, but just hike down to the inside of the volcano instead. What's that? Please be respectful of wildlife if you visit this location. I've seen quite a few of these uh, lichen covered rocks. A lot of small shrubs. Apparently, rattlesnakes are kind of bad down here, too. So, if rattlesnakes are bad, that means they have to have a food source to keep them, uh, keep them around here. But we're getting close to getting down here to the bottom. It's a nice paved trail all the way down. Man, check out all this volcanic rock here behind me. It is all over. I wish they'd allow us to, to collect. Man, look at all that. 
How fun would that be to have a piece of that in your yard? It's all way down there and going all the way up there. You see all kinds of loose, uh, loose rocks everywhere. It's pretty fun. Got to keep the hat on because I'm tired of the sun burning my bald head. Looking like a big fat cherry tomato. Mater? Yeah, like tomato. Thanks, Mater. Here's two quick close-ups of some of the smaller rocks so you can see their detail. These are very porous and lightweight. Here's a little more information as to why this volcano is named what it is. In the summertime, ladybugs will swarm all over the vegetation in the park. All right, we made it down here to the bottom. The trail goes right along there, all the way up and around. Comes up there where those people are walking and goes up there. It's a little windy out. inside of a volcano right now. How cool is that? All right, so I had a good time here at the volcano. Uh, over 8,000 feet elevation. And I've been hiking a lot. I get winded easy, and I'm still recovering. I haven't got past my lung issues yet from COVID. But it's a neat place. I don't know if I'd stop and see it every time I came by. Maybe once every 10 years or so. It's like, yeah, it's kind of neat. Let's go check it out. But it's not, it's not really a have to. It's more of a, it's neat if, you know? Due to time and my breathing issues, we decided to go ahead and call it quits and continue on with our travels. Well, we didn't get to hike the top. I think the top would be fun. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.